basically uh, kids come in, they build the structure. Uh, they have about 25 minutes to build the structure. They'll make a car that can run these ramps up here. Uh, these, these ramps are in different angles. It can go up to 60 degrees. There will be an egg put in uh, inside the structure and they have to run with the egg. And, and basically the egg should not fall out or should not crack. Kids are learning a lot by uh, you know, how to build with materials. They get different materials in, in their package and basically they, they have to use those materials and build, build the structure. Along with that, they have to make sure that the egg does not break, which means they have to build a solid structure that will keep the egg intact. We are now in Dali Estimation. This is a event where you have to estimate three different locations in the classroom here. We have the first one is a 100 grams in a cup of whatever's in the, in the bucket. Station number two is containers and they have objects in them. We must estimate how many are in each container. And station three to our behind us is uh, boxes uh, measured in cubic centimeters. And you have to estimate without any actual measuring device using just lines on your hands and things like that. Olympia District Tournament has actually been running for 30 years. I've had the great privilege to be in my position for the past three years as a district coordinator. In our gymnasium, we have a brand new event this year called Ping Pong Propulsion. And that one for sure I'm going to try to get over to see because apparently that has ping pong balls flying everywhere. And I'm actually excited to actually check that one out. Target is here, it cannot be moved, and you'll have up to one minute to position either one, two, three, or four of your mirrors so the beam of light reflects off of the mirrors and hits a target. So your team can decide how many mirrors you want to use based on the amount of time that you have to work. Good job, good job. The object is to reflect the beam of light on four mirrors so that it rests on the target for three seconds. This needs to be done in one minute or less. Notice that one of the mirrors is mounted on the wall and cannot be moved. This mirror is the same height as the flashlight and also has a special protractor on the floor underneath. No part of you may be any closer to the mirror than the edge of the protractor. Um, it was underneath the table so you had to hold the mirror like down, tilt it down to get it there.
There will be 10 slides that we're going to show you. It'll be a planet, it'll be a feature on a planet, it'll be a galaxy or nebula. If it's a feature, tell us the name of the feature and the name of the planet it's on, all right? And if you have no clue what the feature is, guess what planet it's on, all right? Because you might get lucky. science labs we have tons of different events that the students have put hours and hours in to prepare and this is basically their first trial run in a competitive event. We'd meet up two times a week and study whenever we had free time. It's a lot of work but um, it pays off. The great thing about these events are the students are actually learning while they're doing it. It's very hands-on based inquiry learning. This is kind of the future of science with science, technology, engineering, and math being in many students' future. These events actually give the students a chance to do all that and put science into action. Everything's done hands-on, so they're getting the benefit of actually doing science that they might not get to do in the regular classroom at the elementary level, and hopefully get them so excited about science that when they continue on and actually go to the high school level, they're going to take science for four years as they prepare to get ready to go to college. It's a lot of fun, and you learn a lot of stuff so you can get smarter and boost your grades up. I learned how to like work together and teamwork with my partner. It's a really good experience. Um, it's a lot of fun. You can. It's just a lot of fun. Chippewa Valley is unique in the aspect that we have 100% participation in our district that competes. That means all 12 of our elementary schools do bring a team. Each team is composed of 16 students, so we have over 100 students actually competing today, and all of those teams will get to go on to the county tournament. So we have lots of turnout, and you can actually see behind me that we actually have uh, younger siblings and whatnot as well, and they hopefully are going to be future Science Olympiad too. As they leave us at the elementary level, we even have events that go on at the middle school competition, and Chippewa Valley also participates at the high school level. Students work hard after school. They come in with their coaches, who are mostly parent volunteers. Our teachers are coaches, and uh, it's one of the uh, highlights to our year. This is pretty much home base for all the Science Olympiad participants. They are here busy working on various events. We have one event outdoor called Water Bottle Rocket, and we have great weather today for them to be outside enjoying that event.
today marks the 30th anniversary of our Chippewa Valley Elementary Science Olympiad competition. And it's a wonderful event for our students, for our parents, for our teachers. How well they do today will be announced at the end of the ceremony, and we actually give trophies for first, second, and third place to those schools. All our teams, all 12 of our teams, actually go on to the county tournament at the end of April. We're very proud of this particular competition. It's a nice uh, warm-up for the county competition, which our teams traditionally do very well in. And uh, we're really proud of our students. We know that they, they're they cheering for their, their fellow teammates as well as the other schools. Here he's going to take off the trophy. Oh yeah, I bet Fox Thank you. 
this year in Science Olympiad. Uh, the last four years, we have just improved and improved and to the point where we are now number one. And it collectively, as you can see, with all the different medals around their necks, it's truly a group effort. And I really want to thank the parents because without the parents, we wouldn't have teams. They coach all the different events. And our two uh, leaders, Mrs. Joukowsky and Mrs. Graham, because without everyone on the team, we wouldn't be able to be number one. So we're so proud and so excited. Our kids have been working so hard. This is a great learning opportunity, something that will carry them forward in the future to help them brighten their horizons. We've, we've worked so hard and they've come so far, so we couldn't be prouder. Go Huskies! Boys and girls, can you howl for me on the count of three? One, two, three. That's our Huskies. Thank you.